Hey everyone, Adam here. I think it's finally time for me to start recording. But before I do that, uh, let's create a project template in Logic so that I have a good starting point for each song. So here I have an empty project in the Logic and I'm gonna add a first track. And let's start with the drums. So I'm gonna select the MIDI track. I'm using the Contact 7 instrument where I have the Krim drums library. Okay, I'm gonna name it drums and let's change the icon. Now we can add a guitar track. So I'm gonna choose the audio name it demo guitar and the purpose of this track is not to uh, like come up or record a final guitar track but uh, rather develop an idea or melody that I have into into actual song so it's like a songwriting track where I can experiment and uh, I don't really care about the tone or effects like uh, reverb or delay here. Really it's just uh, to come up with a rough structure of the song. I'm gonna change the icon like so. Now the input was selected correctly here. It's the guitar input on my audio interface. But I'm gonna use uh, an impulse response for this. So let's, let's set it up. For that I'm using the Archetype Rebia plugin from Neural DSP. Okay, so I'm gonna disable all the sections expect, except for the cabinet section. I don't need the left mic and with the right mic I'm gonna load the custom impulse response. Uh, I'm not that experienced with input responses uh, yet, uh, but I have this pack called Science IRs and I believe it was free and it's pretty good, so that's what I'm gonna use for now. And yeah, that's the first guitar track and from that we can build a more guitar track. So I'm gonna duplicate it twice. And that's because we are recording metal, so I'm doing uh, double tracking. So this will be the left guitar track. And this one will be the right guitar track. I'm gonna pan it. Uh, let's change the icon. And actually I'm using uh, like a double amp setup. So the right guitar will be using the impulse response. And for the left guitar, I'm using uh, my Oxbox. So I need to disable the plugin here and change the input to Oxbox left. I'm gonna add another set of guitar tracks and this will be for the clean guitars so again duplicate add the name change the icon in case you're wondering why I'm using short names like this, uh, it, that's because I'll probably spend a lot of time here in the mixer and as you can see there isn't really that much space uh, for the names so by using the, the short names I can be sure that the names won't get trimmed or anything like that. Yeah, uh, let's add another track for the lead guitar. change the icon 
lead guitar will be actually panned to the, or moved to the center. And last but not least, let's add the bass track. And for the bass, I'm gonna be using the Parallax plugin. And in a Parallax, I, I like the nice and warm preset. So that's what I'm gonna set as a default here. I'm gonna change the icon. And yeah, this looks good, this looks nice, I think, but uh, let's add some colors to it so that it looks even nicer. And I'm gonna do this like a spectrum colors. Okay, now it looks much better. Let's go ahead and save it. So save as a template. Now I'm gonna name it metal temp template. So from now on, whenever I'm starting some new, new project, new song, I can just uh, click on the in the logic menu. I can go to the new from template, and it shows here if I select my templates. It shows me the template that I just created. I'm gonna open it. It will load all the plugins, and I can start writing, recording, and have some fun. So yeah, that's it for today. If you find this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you want to follow me on my journey, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.